Hi everyone, this is COTC Grind, and this time the character highlight is Viola. Viola is one of the best characters in the game right now. She is very versatile and she can debuff enemy defense and attack. Now, two very powerful effects usually overlooked are her ability to extend passive debuffs of allies in the same row and uh, items equipped in viola or in the ally in the same row so if you can afford to have for example viola carry an a4 accessory that inflicts defense down considering that she's very fast she can break the enemy for example with double wide burst and set up an enormous amount of damage so um, let's start with viola as a defensive character so there's anti-attack that I don't have equipped, but it inflicts 20% attack and magic down uh, depending on boost level. So if your party is under leveled and you can afford to uh, take a long fight, this skill is amazing. Alongside with some defense in your party, uh, your party can tank a lot. Now this isn't the best strategy, for example, for arena fights that you have to repeat a hundred times. But if it's, if it's like a one-time only battle, then this skill is really useful for survivability. Let's move on to Viola's debuff kit. And that's a very interesting one. So her debilitate is a single skill that buffs duration. And with Viola's passive, uh, th this two turns become three turns or six turns. So she can in one shot reduce physical defense and elemental defense by 25%. Now note that this is 20% at lower levels. Still, it's, it's an amazing skill. It's a great debuff and it lasts for a long time. Also, uh, it can extend the duration of other debuffs that will complement this. So for example, another elemental defense down that lasts for say only two turns, Viola can extend this and make it 30% for an enormous amount of, of turns. Also with her blazing dagger, uh, she can deal elemental fire damage and also impart the, re the remainder of the physical defense down. So Viola can by herself debuff an enemy's physical defense by 30%, which is the cap. Now an interesting use of Viola uh, that's not usually highlighted uh, is her ability to extend ally debuffs along with her debuffs, but also debuffs that come from items and end passives. So this is an interesting thing. Let's take a look at this video. And this shows Viola, uh, this shows um, Laura carrying um, Sophia's A4 accessory. So Sophia's A4 accessory imparts uh, ice defense down for three turns and Laura's own passive imparts magic defense down for three turns. Let's take a look at what happens when we pair um, when we pair Laura with Viola. Now remember in this setup v uh, Laura is the one carrying Sophia's uh, A4 accessory. So let's take a look at what happens. waiting for the encounter and now you see in this encounter the number of turns of the magic defense down increased to four as well as the number of the ice defense down so if you need that extra clutch turn of initial defense down passive let's say you break turn three and then you have turn three and turn four to deal an enormous amount of damage so viola is amazing for this uh, she can be paired with Laura, for example, and when, when it comes uh, Varkin's accessory as well. Although Varkin's accessory lasts for so long that we might not need this anymore, but for the time being, we could, per, for example, pair uh, Wind Defense down or Lightning Defense down uh, with Viola. Now let's move on to another very interesting use of Viola, which is to extend item debuffs. So if you can afford to have Viola carry an A4 accessory for another character, you can use a strategy like the one that I've been using for the for the Bravely Default 
uh, level 100 NPC. So this is turn 11. And what I want to do here is have Viola break. Viola is carrying uh, Odette's A4 accessory, which inflicts light defense down passively. So I want Viola to break and Od Odette to deal the big damage. So let's see what happens here. We have Viola, uh, uh, like Adele kills the fox. And then when Viola breaks, you see her breaking inflicts wind and light resistance down. And that's going to be for a, a, a big number, for four turns instead of the usual three because of Viola's passive. And then Odette, as usual, can come in and deal enormous amount of damage. So this is her unboosted damage. And the next turn she's going to deal... I guess in this one she didn't even have to deal because um, we got a repeated area. <coughs> but she was going to deal an enormous amount of damage. Because of all the passives. So there's the regular active um, spell inflicted light damage down here. And then there's also the passive light damage down from the break. So all of this versatility, I think, makes Viola a great character. And that's COTC grind signing off.